system. So we concluded this is bad. Yep. We conclude this is okay, but uh, in this loop, where else could we put uh, this uh, inductor? Yes. Um, between the negative lead of the v, uh, of uh, the first capacitor, right there. Yep. And that is the best way, because now you have a full resonance. And does this now you can uh, when you say here, then there is one problem. This race resonance inductor here was in a diode branch, but now it's in a branch of charging. So is, is it going to mess up now charging? Not much. It's a small Why? one. Why? It's tiny. OK, but that's but that you made a assumption which you are not justified yet. It okay. is more tiny because nobody says that you couldn't put a, as big inductors here as one on the input, and then you then you have a big disruption. One way of charging with the large inductors, and then uh, then discharging the charging here is one inductance, and discharge and charging this way is the right <laughs> inductance, and and so on. So you have a big jump of uh, charging. But if this inductance is one percent of this inductance, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So now the question is, why is this inductance LR 100 of uh, L or even less? Why is this small compared to this? And that's one, one thing to answer. And the other is, um, what happens with the, uh, this resonant inductor? It is present in this PWM interval, I would call it because it's dictated by, by inductance here. But it resonant interval is now contained only during D prime. This is a D prime off off period, right? Mm -hmm. So this is off period. So resonant is during off period. Uh, sorry, I, I should have done here. Uh, off period. This is off, and this is on, and this is on. So you have transition from on time interval to off time and then again to on time and so on so this kind of repeats okay so now you have um, uh, the resonance here and it's only and the key key point is this resonance is contained during the off period it starts and finishes during off period the other question let's let's not not clutter this and that's a big advantage what i discuss here of having this uh, having this ability to duplicate a slide and so on. I can do one step at a time. So now, uh, one big advantage of this is this resonance is contained only in uh, only during off period. So therefore, what is the resonance circuit? CR. LR, short and short. Simplest resonance circuit you can get, right? And omega R is one over square root of LR CR. That's what I was telling. So there is not multiple frequencies. There is only one frequency dictated by these two components. That's this. And of course, what is fre resonant frequency? This is radial frequency, uh, two pi, one over um, two pi r, right? Omega resonance is uh, omega resonance divided by two pi. This is radial frequency. Of this is this is frequency which we compare now to the switching frequency, where switching frequency is one over switching period, and this period as a on time and off time. So this here is TS. And this is D times TS. And this here, one minus D times TS, right? And as I mentioned in a previous discussion, now we have to talk about when we are having this, we have to talk about uh, natural impedance is square root of LR over CR ratio. So 
the next one what I'll do is let me just copy this right here now we have uh, this circuit natural pins is square root of LR now we have this and uh, what what has happened here? Voltage VR or less than a capacitor is, uh, uh, and this current is IR. So you can have C, CR, DVR for DT. That is current capacitor that's equal to the this current uh, in a resonant inductor. And, uh, and you have also the uh, LR, DIR, DT, okay? That's the voltage across this inductor when the current is IR, and it's equal to what? Let's call this, Minus v. Let's call this VR, right? So this is, so you have a two differential two first order differential equation that you can solve and you can eventually find out time domain IR of T and time domain for VR of T. I'll give you this as a homework problem to by tomorrow to try to figure out what are these time domain variables. And then from that, you're going to figure out what is this uh, circuit actually doing. I'll give you a final result. The final result is that uh, this capacitor, voltage on this capacitor has to be zero. DC voltage, uh, delta VCR, ripple is uh, uh, what is used to uh, store and restore inductance uh, voltage. So volt second balance is uh, uh, doing on, because VCR is zero, then this resonant inductance, VLR, has to be time varying, but with a zero average. So that means that this resonant inductor has to be uh, charging a uh, volt second balance only during this off time. Okay, so let's uh, let's let leave it, leave this at this, and let's move now to um, this circuit we had earlier, a basic circuit. 